business you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Audio bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by the new Winamp for Android, featuring wireless sync and one-click iTunes import. Now with free daily music downloads and full-length CD listening parties. Download it for free at winamp.com slash android. Video bandwidth for the weekly Daily Gizwiz is provided by Cashfly at C-A-C-H-E-F-L-Y dot com. It's time for the Weekly Daily Gizwiz with Mad's maddest writer, Dick D. Bartolo. This is episode 1359, recorded March 31st, 2012. The Weekly Daily Gizwiz is brought to you by Netflix. Watch thousands of TV episodes and movies on your PC, Mac, iPad, iPhone, or TV instantly. All stream directly to you, saving you time, money, and hassle. For your free 30-day trial, go to netflix.com slash twit. And now, get ready for Dick. Leo looks under his desk. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new day to get with. It's a brand new week and a brand new day and a brand new day to get with. The worse your life, the better the sound. We never get to hear that anymore. No, but we just did. <laughs> Nobody's crying, I can tell you that right now. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. You ready? Yes, sir. Is everybody ready? We're recording. We've got our phasers set to stun. Ladies and gentlemen, keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. You're about to go on the ride of your life. The weekly daily gives ways. <laughs> The weekly show is on. What on earth could go wrong? Now it's six hours long. The weekly daily gears win. It just rolls off the tongue. The weekly daily gears win. With more gadgets than one. The weekly daily gears win. Now six hours too long. The weekly daily gears win. But it's just as dumb. show is on aren't you excited Bringing a little class to the internet <laughs> is that what it is uh, yeah. as long as your sign doesn't fall off everything will be well hello dickie d how are you i'm super fine sir and yourself i could be better i had a very unhappy experience a couple of days ago which i will which i shall relate a little later on as part of my turn the table turkey okay now i got you a real open- turkey Oh, really? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. I thought you were going to say you ran out of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know, I have been in, in, in involved in an experiment, and I think, I think we're going to have to do, Dick, a coffee show. Because, well, we were thinking of doing coffee, chocolate, cigars, and flavored vodka slash Jägermeister. We were going to call it This Week in Vices or Thieves. Oh, that's nice. I thought you were going to call it the three C's until you threw in that fourth thing. <laughs> Coffee, chocolate. What was the third C? Cigars. Cigars. You know, maybe we should just leave out the Jäger. You could do candles. Candles. All right, there you go. Coffee, chocolate, cigars, and candles. The four C's. Yeah, the four C's. Sail the four C's with Leo and company. Wow. And candy it's corn. Right itself. That'll make it's it the right six C's. Itself. All I need is one more. I can have seven C's. Cats. It's this week in cats, chocolates, cigars, candy corn, and canvas. C- canvas computer cocktails, AKA this week in the seven C's. Yeah, but probably, unfortunately, I think you're up to eight C's, so now the whole thing is out the window. <laughs> I can throw it out, then never mind. Forget I even mentioned it. I know. I had forgotten, to tell you the truth. <laughs> hey, how's your week been? Have you had an enjoyable week? 
<clears throat> uh, actually, yeah, my week's been very good. The weather's it's, uh, El Crapo day here today. It's, but, ra- it's uh, raining here, but, you know, what's funny, the sun, I think, just came out. Let's let's check the sun cam. I just want to see. Oh, you have a sun cam? Yeah, there it is. Oh, you do? Yeah. It looks nice. It looks like it might have yeah. might have cleared up a little bit. Yeah. yeah. I think it has not cleared up here, but we've had, we needed rain. It was just uh, very dry here for almost a month. Yeah. So. Funny, because while you're not getting any rain, this was the wettest March in the history of Northern California, at least in 80 years of history. Wow. Yeah. Well, you know, if it keeps raining, you will be able to know if there is a tunnel between... (laughs) I caught that guy. He looked at me. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, yeah. See, now, so I was telling you about this. The tunnel under under the building... And maybe somebody Go. who's listening knows because I was told that uh, by somebody who says, you know, I'm a, a Petaluma historian. And the problem is this is all lost in the mists of time. In fact, no one even knows what the name Petaluma stands for. We don't even know what Petaluma means. It's all lost in the mists of time. But it, I was told that the old buildings in Petaluma, of which the brick house is one, we were a furniture factory built uh, in the 1880s or 90s. But these old buildings in Petaluma all had tunnels that led down to the river. The river is about half a mile away. And this tunnel, they would use it to transship goods as they arrived in the, you know, in the steam paddle wheelers up the river. They'd transship them and bring them through the tunnels to avoid the streets and bring them here to the building. And if this was a furniture factory, probably they would turn it into furniture and then bring it back to the, the ships. But they say that these tunnels exist, but... They've been blocked, uh, you know, for years. So I would love to find if there is a tunnel, a secret tunnel that leads to the river. Wouldn't that be cool? Yeah. Well, you know what? Flood the basement to the top. Oh, good thing. Wait 24 hours. If the water's still in there, it's not leaking out to any tunnel. Even better, flood the basement, throw in about 800 pounds of coffee grinds. And then when you drain it out, you'll have some great cold brewed coffee and you'll know if there's a river there. However, if it does drain out, you're going to have some highly decaffeinated fish <laughs> down in the turning basin. I have been experimenting and I will do I will do uh, on future gaze whizzes. You know, we, we've we've talked about coffee before. You and I both are coffee oh, uh, we both, fanatics. We both yeah. And you introduced me to literally the best coffee maker I had ever used until recently, the Aero yeah. B AeroPress, which we love. Exactly. And which you found too cheap because it was like twenty five dollars, and you preferred to spend five six hundred. <laughs> well, I mocked so. it because I didn't think anything that was made of plastic with a plunger could really <laughs> could really make a good cup of coffee. But boy, was I wrong! Yeah, it's, it's fantastic. But now, now You're I have beyond, I have a you new religion. Beyond the Arabic, I have a new religion. It's cold brewed coffee, not hot, not boiling water, not even nope. tepid water, as 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 is recommended by the AeroPress. But literally, ice water. Because then you don't leach out the acid. The beans the beans keep the acid, but they give you the robust coffee flavor and the fantastic caffeine without 66.7% of the acids left behind. I just do it. I just rough the beans up the night before. <laughs> I just say, listen, no more acid. You got me? You got that? No, I'm going to bed. Yeah. When I get up, if there's acid in my coffee, you're going to pay. You'll pay. Surprisingly, it does work. They're scared. They're scared. Stay away from the brown <laughs> acid. Scared That's my motto. So we'll do, but I, so I have, uh, I have a couple of systems, and so I will do a further exploration uh, on no, a, late, it's a, a later idea. day. And I, and I want video of that seven-story thing that you just I did. Saw. I got the, it's called the Yama. Yeah. And it's a, it is, it, it looks as close to a, a still as I've ever seen. Basically, it looks like I'm making methadrine in my kitchen now. Yeah. And, and I, I like their slogan, load it up in the winter, have coffee by the spring. <laughs> it takes it's a really while, good. but nothing yeah, good it, happens it, it, fast, Dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could say something there, but I'm not. So yeah. we have some gadgets, and I'm not, I'm not going to do that, but I will give you an update on, on, an, on a, a very interesting story that broke on iPad Today on Thursday. 
And when okay. I say broke, <laughs> I mean broke. Uh, but first, let's start with your first gadget of the week. Okay, well, I'm doing three. It was, it was kind of interesting because there's a big houseway show every year in Chicago. And, you know, there's usually not enough in the houseway show to warrant spending that kind of money to go to Chicago. But it was very clever because a PR agency thought, let's get together some of the housewares companies that exhibited in Chicago and just do a one-day show here in New York City so local reporters can uh, see gadgets that were in Chicago. So it was great. So I picked three gadgets that were shown at this event that happened this past Wednesday. One of them I had read about and was anxious to see. They were not making what I was hoping they were making, but it's an interesting gadget from TFAL, T-F-A-L, and it's called... Oh, I, I use their pans. They, they make uh, nonstick pans. Yes, exactly. Well, do you know about Actifry? Act Actifry? No, what's Act Actifry? Actifry. Actifry is a is a cooking system that no matter what you cook, you can do it with one tablespoon of oil. Oh, wow. Now, the thing I was hoping they were doing is is making french fries because with Actifry, you can make 2 pounds of french fried potatoes with, with 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 a teaspoon of butter with a tablespoon of oil what? one tablespoon of oil which they say is up to 200% less oil than if you were deep frying it so this is so a shallow I, fat fryer uh, no, no. It, it, it's if you look, uh, if you go to T Fowl and, and type in Actifry, you can see what it looks like. It looks like a space age device. And so what it does is you you put whatever there. there, there there's a picture of it. So when I got there, the chef was making. He was doing chicken with asparagus, uh, fava beans, and sprouts, and a and lovely he, Chianti. And <laughs> yeah, and he didn't put that in in oh, the right. uh, okay. in, in the active fry, but the, the 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 food was delicious. So I said to the guy, "Now, if I I if you were making fries, how long does that take?" And he says, uh, "Twenty five to thirty five minutes. Thirty five if you want them really crispy." He said, "But you you throw the the uh, cut up potatoes in. You put the uh, tablespoon of oil over it." It shows the picture of the tablespoon sitting in the device, but I realize now it's where you store it. I thought the thing went around and the spoon would do the oil. So you just sprinkle it over the food, close the cover, and according to the little recipe guide, set the timer for however long it takes. And so the food moves around. There's a little paddle in there to keep the food stirred. And then there's a little... A cooking device at the end that is the heating element. So it sort of heats as the food goes by on this uh, rotating platform. Uh, everything is is stick free. All the pieces unplugged, so you can stick everything into the dishwasher. The fries, the guy said, it's three percent fat <clears throat> compared to sixteen to eighteen percent fat if you had deep fried them. And then there's no oil to a store and reuse. So you can do meats, poultry, seafood. And they gave us little ba bags of granola that they had actually made earlier in this device, which tasted uh, pretty decent. Now, it is expensive. Uh, the list price is $250, $249.99. But on Amazon, it's down around 180 bucks. Um, so this is interesting. Cool. So it, essentially it's a convection frying pan because it's yeah, got a yes. blower in it. And so it's blowing it's, hot air. Exactly. It's stirring. And it stirs as it goes because you wouldn't want to stand over this and stir it. So no, that, that no, way, yeah, boy, that way it, it's evenly cooked. Exactly. You cl and the lid is clear, so it's kind of nice. You can see uh, what it's doing. When it's done, there's a button you push and the lid rises up. Huh. And as I was eating this, another reporter went by and said, oh, that looks good. What is it? I said, oh, it's chicken and asparagus. And I said, they're cooking it right now. So uh, she went over and got some and came back and stood at the same table. She said, this is really good. And there's no taste of oil and it's the vegetables taste really I, fresh. I bet. Yeah, I mean, so, I'm sure yeah, it's not... Yeah. Uh... Not greasy. There's Leo, really any oil at maybe all. a way to uh, do some coffee beans. I in think there. you could roast coffee beans in this. Actually, I think you could. In yeah. fact, I'm sure you could. <laughs> I bet you could. It I looks like a coffee could. bean roaster. Come to think of it, they I all have those stirrers. Get some green beans. Yeah. Wow. 
So now that's, iPad uh, nine two seven eight six says in our chat room these have been these used, these been around in the UK for some years. They're well known for catching on fire. <laughs> for ca <laughs> that's, really? okay. that's the old. They, they've they've perfected it since then, I think. But I uh, yeah, I, I I would hope so. <laughs> the originals used to catch on fire a lot. Right, and, and now they just decided maybe if we just cook the food, maybe that would be a better way. <laughs> yeah, we'll sell more of them. Yeah. No, I think this makes sense. Uh, it's a convection uh, cooker that stirs constantly, so of course you don't need much oil. You're basically uh, you're basically roasting things, but they don't burn because they're 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 stirring. They're in motion. They're yeah, in motion. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I bet you could roast coffee in this. Actually, Not you know what? I bet you could. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how far up the timer goes, but uh, the thing is, in the UK, people were yeah. using them to make fish and chips. And apparently uh, they went they went up in smoke a lot. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, here we go. This is this is a report from the. B oh, it's not available in my area. These uh, watchdog complains about some T fall active fry units blowing out smoke sparks and even catching fire. <laughs> oh my word! But that's an early. Uh, they've they've yeah, perfected I was this. Say, I, uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Uh -huh. I think they've overcome those shortcomings. One hopes. And also, it's now available in black. That it was never Good. available in before. Good. It says the problem was uh, fan failure. So make sure your fan continues to work. It doesn't overheat. Uh, because if it does, you'll be very sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. But, you know, everything that's really good contains within it a nugget of danger, risk, and, and extreme pain. Or it wouldn't be any good. Right? Am I yeah, wrong? Yeah. All right. Item number two. That's a, a life lesson today. <laughs> life okay. lesson. Are you going to do this? Uh, this this is a this is a gadget that truly sucks. You want to do this with your second gadget? Uh, I am. I am going to do it. All and right. uh, want to set this video um, up I, in any way? Yeah, yeah. It, it's pretty easy, um, and it's very funny because Leo just bought one and uh, something like it, not the same one. So, so, no, not something like yeah. it. O yeah. Okay, uh, cyclonic systems where the air within the vacuum cleaner, you know, gets accelerated up to on this particular one, 118 miles an hour. Wow! And they had one there. Uh, Dennis was not with me, so I just handed my camera to a spokesperson, and we shot this. This video. Let's take a look. Hey, it's Dick D. Bartolo, Mads, Maddest Writer, and the Gizwiz. Now, you'll notice that my words don't match my lip movements. It's been a problem since I was uh, five years old. Anyway, <laughs> recently there was a houseware showing. This is in Japanese? Well, I don't understand. It's, it's not it. even no, close. It's, it's like you're saying something it, different. It was so noisy, I just redubbed it. That was the <laughs> Oh! Wow. Because everybody, it was a small room and everybody was running every kind and of And you knew you were going to do that, so you set it up. Yeah, so I figured, <laughs> no, I'll just make a lot of hand movements. It'd be easy to do. That is really funny. Are you saying anything? Uh, oh, nice. We don't have this person is not. Alex, I apologize. <laughs> For uh, saying your camera work is not the best. This is from Rowenta, and this is their new Delta Force stick vacuum cleaner. This is one of those cyclonic systems where the air can move through the cleaner at up to 118 <laughs> miles per hour. And yet, you don't have to wear a seatbelt when you use this. Uh, the stick vacuum can stand it's up. It's not bad, you right? It doesn't Once match at all. You'll get 40 minutes <laughs> Why no? Time. But that's the... I'm not trying to dub it. Head system so you can get into corners. And that's why the head of the back is designed... Folks, if you're not watching the video, you really ought to. Yeah, the, the, the audio version of this show is just not going <laughs> a carpet. The dust container contains up to... Will hold up to... 32 ounces of dust here. Oh, look. I couldn't find any dust, so I'm using some oatmeal as a little test. So you turn this cleaner on. It's actually uh, fairly quiet, and you start Now, you can't actually hear it because I dubbed over this. Away. It's really quiet. Now, this is coming out <laughs> in April. It's just about... But I, like the, I like the fact that it's got a corner. I like Yeah, that that's a nice feature. Of a room. It's going to be under $180. If you live closer, we could have a vac April off. Of we should have a vac off. The Rowenda yeah. <laughs> Delta Force Stick Vacuum Cleaner. They're telling me now that it's available in four different colors. So it's very, very uh, aerodynamic. Something surreal about this. In fact, this. I think if you hold on tight, 
crank it up. You can actually fly away. Bye. <laughs> hey, Dick, you oh, want to no. tell him that? Oh, my gosh. All right. We'll stop there. That's going on the next one. So that's Rowenta. It is that's a Rowenta cyclonic now. vacuum, the Freedom. Bucks. What is it called? The so- uh, it's Delta, called Force. Delta Force. Wow. Because of the shape, yeah. and uh, starting uh, starting tomorrow, it'll be shipping in colors: pearl, copper red, intense blue, and harvest. So that's the uh, Delta Force vacuum Th- that system. That is not this system. Just just in case you were you thinking it was. This is. There's something. There's no suction coming through. So was the brush roll rolling? There is obviously a problem somewhere. The brush roll was rolling. This isn't in properly. Sometimes so these things go wrong. Oh, that's right. On live TV. No, that isn't going to. Oh, hang on a minute. What about this down here? That's the reason it's set up as a cylinder. Charlie. <laughs> See? You know. the brains. I'm the beauty. Okay, let's go. <laughs> right. Let's start again. That's more like it. Hello. Oh, it's yeah. not Charlie. I, I think something's... I still feel that something is not quite right. right. Let me show you how it converts from a cylinder <laughs> into an upright. Because it hey, is easy. Get rid of There's that. There's not a problem yeah. with that. There's something very simple, but I just don't have time at the moment to okay. force that. So ah, let's pop so this back on. So we connect the cylinder okay? to the bottom there to make it Pop it on like upright. that. Yeah. And then, very, very easy, pull this off. Pull that off. Thank you. That becomes your handle. That sticks in there, and <laughs> away you go. By the looks, not oh. the Rowenta. Oh no! no. It has to come down into the. <laughs> has to come down into the. Oh my word! <laughs> Don't worry, we've only got ten minutes left. <laughs> <laughs> he's Can he's already sitting help? down. No. He could. He's, <laughs> he, uh, he wants nothing. Not nothing. Not she's right, staying okay, far well, away. This poor woman. Yes. On live television too. So, brush roll, power, and Bob's your uncle. Away we go. Make sure that's pulled down. <laughs> I'm picking anything up. All right, there we go. That's oh. more like it. Now we're rolling. So see how see loud that is, though. But the, the, your yeah, vacuum was wasn't that loud. No, problem. no. no I, you know, the, I, the, the, the stick back's actually very quiet. <laughs> Yours is quiet, it's right? Mine is quiet. Now I have an. Uh, I'm gonna. Uh, we're, we'll edit that out, please. <laughs> I thought there was gonna be some disaster, but there wasn't even really much of a disaster. It was just a little assembly uh, problem. problem. Uh, I was hoping it would burst into flames or something. Um, no, I. <laughs> I always enjoy that. No, I have a, uh, I have the Dyson. Now, the Dyson invented these, right? And in fact, I, they they have maintained for a long time that they anybody who does a cyclonic system is violating Dyson's patents. There are everybody now makes Dyson like vacuum cleaners um, with the cyclones. Uh, Hoover does, Rowenta, a lot of them. Um, so, but I needed a small uh, cordless. Yours is cordless too, right? Yes, battery exactly. driven. Uh, yeah, forty minutes of uh, run time. Oh, see, okay, mine. Okay, get this. So I got the Dyson. It's called the Stick. Uh, very lightweight, and it does a really good job. As as I think do all of these uh, cyclonic uh, vacuums because they have such. They really have a lot of uh, a suckage in them. If, that, if that's the right term, I, I believe it's it's the right. Oh, term. I think it is. I, I believe yeah. all scientists use uh, suckage. Yes. So uh, the thing about the uh, this is it, it's very lightweight. So I only get six minutes. That's on max. I can get 15 minutes on uh, if I turn it down. (laughs) But I figure if I can't finish in six minutes, I don't care anyway. Oh, yeah. I've heard that about you. Yeah. No, I should... (laughs) I will. Uh, I will bring in uh, this. The, oh, six minutes! I thought you said six seconds. Six okay. minutes six is minutes. Yeah, that's yeah. enough. Yeah. No, I'll bring it in and I will do uh, my review of it. I have to say, I've been very happy uh, with okay. it. It's a. It's a good. It's very lightweight. It does a great job. And uh, yeah, it's six minutes. But I don't want to vacuum for more than six minutes anyway. No, you get tired. Yeah, yeah, and it's cool looking. See, but is yours yeah. bagless? Yes. Okay. Uh, I think I. So yours is about a hundred bucks less. Uh, yeah, uh, 180. Yeah, this mine was three, 329, I think. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know why I bought it. I wish I'd known about the Rowenta sooner. <laughs>
<laughs> Moving along to gadget number three, Mr. D. Where are you? There you uh, are. Yeah, gadget number th three turns out also to be from Ro, uh, Ro Rowenta. 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 And it's good because uh, my next spot for ABC News is uh, going to be travel gadgets. Ah. And so I saw this neat little iron that they make, a little travel iron, uh, which they call the model they call first class. It's kind of clever. Or you can ask for it by uh, model DA1560. But first class is better. Uh, so a couple of neat things. It's a thousand watt iron. So don't use it alone. Wow. Yeah, I know. Don't use it while you're using the hair dryer. But it has a 400-hole stainless steel plate for steam. Oh, so you can use it as a steamer, is, too. See, I like steamers. Steam. Yeah. 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 And what I like about this, Leo, is to <clears throat> to get the, the size of it down, they made the handle the water reservoir. Ah. And then the handle also folds down. And also... It can do vertical steam. I, I mean, I haven't used an iron since I lived at home with my parents. But I remember when my mother got one of the first steam irons. If you <laughs> held the steam iron, yes, straight up, the water wouldn't come out the holes because the water went to the bottom right. of the reservoir. Right. Uh, so when it's made for horizontal steam, that means in the hotel room you can hang your clothes on a hanger. Right. And you can steam them while they're uh, hanging. Which is actually a, a very good way to... Uh, to uh, get the wrinkles out of your clothes. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, dual voltage, which makes it also good for steaming. Also, the person said it was something interesting is that it's not only for travel. They find that kids in college like these things or people who have a, a country home. Or Do you need an apartment. ironing board for this or could you just uh, hold, you hold your what? clothes in uh, the air? Let's see, I'm trying to think at the uh, at the event, I think they just had it on a table. They had they had a big their big irons were iron, ironing boards. Right. But I think I used this just on a on a small table. Um list price is 49.99. I noticed on Amazon pretty much every place is 39.99. Right. I'm seeing that so too. It, yeah. And it comes with a travel pack. So, oh, and, and it's 110 and 220 voltage. Ah, excellent. So that's good for travel. Um, I'm buying it right now. <laughs> and it also has a, a special little pointy, uh, uh, <laughs> pointy bow. The, the, the front of the <laughs> so you for cutting through voltage. the water, of course. No, for that's very important. Yeah. You, don't want a, you, uh, you don't want any water resistance there. Yeah. <laughs> the end of the iron has a nice point on it so you can get into uh you can do collars and ironing uh around buttons much easier. So it's it's actually pretty well worked out. Can you carry that in your uh, carry-on as a TSA just say, "Oh yeah, that's an iron, no big deal." You know what? I I really don't know to tell you the truth. I would think I, so. I mean, what if there is water, I guess you'd want to drain the water out of it. Oh yeah, I think you would want to do yeah. that too. And but you wouldn't uh, want to travel with it with water in it. So is that it right there? That's it, yeah. It's kind of cute looking. It, it, no, actually, we were leaving. They said, oh, you know what? Just take one with you. So I haven't used it in, uh, here at home. <laughs> you look kind of wrinkly. Looks like you haven't moved, haven't ironed since you moved out of home, your house with your mother 40 years ago. <laughs> ooh, wait, next time before the show, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> now, if you could plug it in, they wouldn't let you carry it on because that would be a deadly weapon. You could, you could put somebody, uh, put a... Oh, yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah. now a lot of planes have AC. Right, right. Uh, sir, you can't iron on board. You'll have to wait till we land. <laughs> yeah, Not now that safe. is interesting. Yeah. Although you can only attack someone within uh, seven feet or however long the court is. <laughs> Come here. Hey, come here. I want to yeah, talk to you. Come yeah. here. No, get a little closer. Just, no, just a little closer. I, I need wait, wait, to talk hang to on. You. Let me just try this. No, you have to come about six <laughs> I can't read you. <laughs> wait, sir, could, you, could I move this plug to uh, your seat? I'm sorry. You'll have to turn that iron off until we're, we're land. So uh, before we get to, I guess I'm next, right, with the uh, with the, yes, uh, the Table Turkey. Yes, before we get to that, I do want to mention our friends at Netflix, the best deal in content Ever, I don't know if you uh, Mad Men is back, but maybe you didn't see all of the first four seasons. You want to do a Mad Men catch up? They're all on Netflix. They're all on Netflix. Many great movies too, like Good Will Hunting. 
Oh, I love that. Morning Glory about uh, morning television. That was such a good movie, The Seven Year Itch with Marilyn Monroe. These are just uh, a few. Oh, wonderful movie, huh? I yeah. just said, uh, I just added Portlandia to Isn't my. Isn't that funny? I like that. Cute last night. Yeah. Yep. So this is a great way because basically you watch them instantly on your computer, on your uh, Xbox 360, on your PlayStation 3, your Nintendo Wii, many Blu-ray players, many TVs even now have a Netflix built in. And at seven ninety nine a month, the quality of content is fantastic. Fantastic, and I'm always finding new stuff that I, I want to watch. Try it out for free. First, the first month is free if you go to Netflix.com/slash/twit. If you're already a Netflix subscriber, as I'm sure many of you are, please do me a favor: tell your friends and family members if they don't know about Netflix. is a great way to try before you buy. Oh, the original Planet of the Apes. Netflix.com. Slash twit. We thank them for their support. All right. So, Dickie D, I have actually, I'm going to show you, um, I have it in here, a new um, uh, iPhone case system that I think is quite kind of cool. And in order to mm -hmm. show it to you, I'm going to use my iPhone. Now, a uh, little something happened to my iPhone. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, there's a company uh, that you might have seen at uh, CES called Liquipel. Did you see them when, uh, when you were at CES? You know what? The name is familiar. They were I dipping did... iPhones Whoa, in minute. water. Oh, yes, yes, I remember. Yeah, it's a, it's a system that waterproofs your iPhone. So they've, they said, hey, Leo, we didn't see at CES. Would you like us to waterproof your iPhone? And uh, foolish me, I said, yes, there's only one problem with that. Once yeah. they've waterproofed your iPhone, what's next? You have to test. test it. Yes. Yes. Um, I probably should have given him something that I, I cared less about than my iPhone. That's, that's all I'm saying. Here, watch what happened. Well, you weren't going to give him your tail. What is it? Is it a... I don't... I wouldn't have any idea what a Liquipel is. Yeah, well, uh, we saw him at CES. Maybe you didn't remember. It repels liquid. It, uh, that's exactly what it does. Uh-huh. Here's... It's, it, it revolutionizes... This is from uh, this week's protection iPad and today. process applies okay. nano-sized particles throughout the device... To prevent damage from accidental water exposure. So, uh, here's the kit. It, it come, you know, we they they called us. They said, "Hey, would you like to liquipel your your phone? You can do this with an iPad. You can do it with any electronic device." Uh -huh. Now, the first thing I said, "Yeah, let's do it." The first thing you get is in here. This is don't get it wet. What? It says we don't recommend your device come in contact with any liquids. If it does, stop using it for five hours. Don't charge it for twenty four. But, but. Well, what? I I don't know if that's their lawyers talking or if if they don't have the, a lot of confidence because at the CES they were dipping stuff. Yeah, they were. I I got it done now. So here's my iPhone in the special Liquipel, special patented sixty dollars by the way. And I defy. I'm going to give this to you now. Okay. See, can you tell any difference at all? Does that seem like a Liquipel iPhone? Seriously. Just like a regular iPhone, right? Yes. I have no. So apparently now. Really. There is a nano coating on there. You can't tell, right? No. It doesn't change its behavior in any way. You still talk. In fact, it. you even get the same amount same, of smudge. It feels the same. Sorry, I got your eyes. That's all right. Uh, apparently, uh, it's a thousand times thinner than a human hair. It does not. That's why you can't tell it's on there. You don't. It's, it does not affect look, feel, or performance. I'll vouch for that. It bonds on the molecular level, so it lasts forever, effectively. But I don't have the n nerve to drop this in a bucket of water. Well. They told you not to. And so. that's kind of what took the nerve away. Well, yeah, the, don't you Liz, think would that you this, get me a glass of water? Don't, oh, Leo. Don't you think this, this is, is my more, one and only iPhone. This is more for like, ooh, the sprinklers went on while right. I was walking through the grass. Whoops. At least I have the Liquipel for these little emergency situations. It's not, let's dunk the phone. I think you're about to be very foolish. It, Somebody in the chat room saying it's like the emperor's new clothes. You cannot tell. I don't even know if it exists. You what about can't the, tell. What about the headphone though? Because it's not it's not oh, covering yeah. the headphone jack. So, somebody said that what they did at, at oh, CES is you, that Liz. they um, is that they liquipelled it. <laughs> <laughs> did you hear that? The phone screamed. Audible gasps. <laughs> they uh. they. Uh, so they turn it on, it's okay? On. Yeah, but but they but Dick. Now, I, they say turn so now I did what they said not to do. In fact, you can see me doing it right now. I shook it and turned it on. Now they say if it should get wet, even though they say. Yes. By the way, I spilled the glass of water all over all of our equipment immediately after that. If it should get wet, immediately stop using it. Remove the battery if you can, and don't turn it on or charge it for twenty four hours. I, I I didn't do that. I shook it. They said, don't do that. I turned it on, and it worked for a while. <laughs> but it has since, oh. so, so here it is. So um, this is, so what I did is I took it home. 
I took the uh, the iPhone and I put it in a, a Tupperware with a bunch of desiccant. You know, you could use rice, but I actually had those desiccant bags I saved. And this is the iPhone, and uh, it doesn't, it no longer. Nothing. Oh, no. But here's an interesting thing. When I switch the uh, on off for the sound, it buzz. I feel the buzz. And when I hook it up, it sinks. So I think the actual iPhone is okay, but the screen got shorted out. So oh, no. I'm going to take it to iPhone repair. But right now it's not working. And uh, to be honest, uh, I can't really <laughs> recommend you spend $60 for Liquipel because, well, it didn't work. Yeah. All right. So there you go. So I just thought I'd mention that. Now okay, let me show no, you this. Okay. Uh, this is a, a, an entire system. Uh, an oh, iPhone. So now we're going to something totally this new. This is my product, but I needed the okay. iPhone for it. I just want to explain why I won't be turning on the iPhone during this demonstration. Oh, okay, okay. This is the Rock Bed. R O K B E D case. Now they have a couple of cases. The first one I'm going to show you, I really like, is a is a beaut is aluminum. It's an iPhone case, Ooh. and it's really pretty. It's a uh, it's cast aluminum. I'm going to slide it in here. And uh, they say, don't put a screen protector on the back here. You won't be able to, it won't slide in easily. It, it fits, it's fairly snug, which you want a case to be. You don't want it to fall off. And it is really quite attractive. I have to say, it's a beautiful case. Uh, and and this, because it's, it's metal, is going to give you some good protection. Lightweight, looks good. And I think it preserves a lot of the, the beauty of that. So that's the rock bed. That's the, oh, crap. <laughs> I can't get it off. That's the... I should have, you know. It oh, felt you know, like, Leo, dip it, dip it in water and make it slippery. <laughs> Maybe butter. Did anybody oh, get any butter? butter? Put it, yeah, yeah. Uh, put it in the AccuFry. <sighs> well, I can't get it off, but I'll show you. <laughs> 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 I you know, I think that lady demonstrating the vacuum cleaner has <sighs> had a terrible effect. on She you. did. It's not. <sighs> I guess that's a permanent case. <laughs> Well, it's it's never going to fall yeah. off. So now this isn't. Guys, I'll get it off. Know. I'll get it off. We'll we'll uh, we'll put some WD forty on. I can't make the phone any worse, right? Um, so no. this is this is the other rock bed. Now I like this kind of even better because this has a this it's a this is plastic, okay? But this has more of a system. Notice this back here. I don't, no, yeah, they don't have it on the metal one. You can buy accessories that go with the back. So it's got a clip, a sport clip. So if I put this. In here, let's see, you do it like this. Put this in here like this. Uh, then it's then you can clip it on a belt. Okay. Oh, okay. But you can you can disconnect it. Here, here's another phone. <laughs> you don't mind if I if I put a case on here and can't get it off ever again, do you? Okay. I'll put it on this phone. This will be Oh yeah, it's, that's a little bit less less tight. I can slip it. So you buy the case like that, but you can there's some other accessories. This is kind of cool. This is a dashboard mount, so you remove the backing. Stick it on your dashboard, and now when you get in the car, you just put your phone on there, you turn it, and it's locked onto the dashboard. Oh, that's good. Nice solid lock. It has another adapter. This is a tripod adapter. I really like this, and I'll probably will use this because now it's got a threaded adapter for a tripod, right? Nice. So, so if you use your, your phone as a uh, as a, uh, a, a camera, I guess you could put it this way, too. That might be I was going to say sideways. that way, otherwise the yeah. tripod can't reach it. Yeah. yeah, the sideways one is the way you want yeah. to do it. And then um, finally, and let me see if I can take this off because oh, that one came off. Um, you can pop out this back. It has a little rubber back here. And I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. That's a rare earth magnet. So now oh. <laughs> that can't, mm -hmm. that couldn't hurt your phone, could it? No. It's a really, really, really strong magnet. So now I could just throw this against the refrigerator. It would just stick. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you could throw the one that's broken against the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't do the new one. So here you go, Liz. Here's the... Uh... <laughs> hey, Liz, now you got a magnetic phone. Here's your rock bed case. Uh, here's so another... The, this is another clip. This the is actually... case is 60 bucks, and then you buy everything optional? Optional, uh, optional accessories. This is okay. fun. This is the Rock Meister. So I showed you the sport clip, right? The Rock right. Meister. Now, how, what would you oh. say is different... About this bottle opener. <laughs> yeah, you're good. It took me a while to figure out what what do you what do you mean the Rockmeister? What's different? This is just a sport clip, isn't it? No, it's no, a sport clip and no, no. a bottle opener. Yeah, always you always have that handy anytime you need it. 
So this is pretty good. It's uh, $39 on Amazon, and then you can get the various accessories. It's uh, rockbed.com, I think. Actually, Rock Form. Let me find the website. because I Rock Form? I think it's Rock Form, not Rock. Rock Bed is the product. Let me just look real quickly on the web. Mm -hmm. I should be yep. better prepared. Um, they actually approached me. And they said we'd like to send you these because we, you know, we want you to try them out. And I was I was pretty impressed. I thought the this is kind of handy. R O K F O R M dot com, oh, rock okay, form, good. and they come in colors. They're very stylish. So it's really kind of almost a design your own case situation. Oh, yeah. They also have a twenty four karat gold case. I wish that were the one I couldn't get off. <laughs> Sorry, I can't send it back to you. This is a bicycle clip. Same idea. It's the same system. So you'd put that on your bicycle, and then when you when you get on your bike, you clip it on. They have a stand system. There's a whole bunch yeah, of uh, different nice. things, and it's all tied to that little notch in the uh, in the back, yeah. so you can hook things on. So you get the case, and then you could put it on a variety of uh, of different uh, uh, different things. So I like, I like yeah, it. Yeah, it's kind of fun. This is kind of nice. They also make some uh, stuff for iPads and, and so forth. R O K F O R M dot com. As you said, it's on Amazon. It's on other places. I don't know. You know, this is a good question. I don't think a magnet would hurt anything. Um, but I, I, I assume that they must have tested it a dozen times. <laughs> Just like the Liquipel. It's all been, yeah, exactly. it's all been thoroughly, that, yeah. <laughs> thoroughly, <laughs> nothing thoroughly tested. <laughs> So the uh, V3 rock bed case uh, that uh, has the special adapter is $39. They have uh, custom cases. Uh, the Fusion case, uh, which is the aluminum. The Team Series for your favorite team. And uh, if you want the 24 karat gold, it'll set you back a mere $300. That's all. Why didn't they send me that? <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I wanted. Only because they've seen what you do to gadgets. Yeah, well, I, you know, they're never getting this back. <laughs> I can't get it off the... That's going to really slow down the repair. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this poor phone is just not... Is just not well, meant you know what? Send it back to them with the phone in it and say, could you just send me a new iPhone because I can't get my yeah. precious iPhone out of it. Wow. It works perfectly. I mean, normally that's a good me... thing, right? A case that, that really yeah, is, yeah, is yeah. permanent. Um, uh, all right. Ladies and gentlemen... <laughs> I'm going to continue to struggle with this case, but while we struggle, you and I, let's walk down the road a piece and check out a little place full of old gadgets from days gone by, a place that's nostalgic and friendly, a place that we like to visit and we know as Fibber McGee's Closet. No, <laughs> we know as Dick's Gadget Warehouse. It's a show with many characters, some off... They're geeky and they're goofy. Together they are loopy. When gadgets pass away, he takes them out to play. In this gadget warehouse. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, Fibber McGee. No, Dick D. Bartolo. Hello, Dick. Leo, how are you? Hi. Welcome to the warehouse. I just sent Myra to uh, see if I left my uh, headphones where I took a photograph of them. But in the meantime, these, Leo, these are 40-year-old headphones. That you're wearing right I, now? No, no, no. The, the ones that I'm going to talk about. I, I was going to wear them for the show, but, but the... They uh, sound terrible. No, actually, the sound is really good. It's just oh. that the connector is getting kind of corroded. <laughs> yes, this is them. Yeah. They're, they're, tell me if you remember this company. Lafayette Radio. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I okay. remember Lafayette. Yeah. Lafayette Radio was kind of like Radio Shack, except they had no stores. It was all via catalog, uh, catalog except if you lived in New York City. They had Lafayette there, stores? No, they had the Lafayette Warehouse. Oh. But they had a consumer counter. Oh, how fun. And, I mean, no, nothing on display. You went in, you walked up to a counter, you had your catalog in your hand, they handed you a sheet, you, you wrote down all the catalog numbers, and then they would disappear into this enormous warehouse. And he'd come back with 
either a stack of boxes and go, well, you know, we don't have 0938-2719, but uh, we can give you 293. Anyway, it was great. It was <laughs> great, great. I love it. Yeah. And if he went on a Saturday, the lines were out the door with all the people get, getting. You could also buy parts. It wasn't like was, super high quality. They were just, they were kind of like, it was like, you know. Like, like radio show. Yeah, 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 exactly. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, th this was their state-of-the-art headphones, and I think they were either twenty-nine or thirty-nine dollars. Right. But this, this is this is like uh, forty years ago. So these are the, the uh, Lafayette F seven eighty, and they have separate woofer and tweeter. Wow. So the technology. Technology back then, they had no idea how to put one speaker inside another like so many speakers are today. So they just gave you a separate woofer and a separate tweeter. So the high end was down low and the low end was up high. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? They did. They do not sound bad for, for its time. But it's very funny because I was looking on eBay and someone just sold a pair for $20. And, and wow. it's... It's yeah, I know, I know. He, he that was a good deal that he got, and, and someone and and he said in the ad, "Beware, there is a giant plug on the." <laughs> <laughs> Who has a hole <laughs> that big? Be, people didn't know back then. That's this a is, phono this plug. Is, this, yeah, yeah the standard, standard RCA phono yeah, plug, and he said, "Beware, giant plug. You ha you will have to buy an, an adapter. adapter. <laughs> will not work with your iPod. No, will not work." Uh, but it was a great memory. And the funny thing is, in doing some research, you know, you and I like pens. You and I like I love watches. Pens. Love watches. Evidently, there are a lot of people who like headphones. I love headphones, I found, too. Yeah. Yes. I found four or five websites. A uh, guy said, yes, I have 189 headphones, including. Oh, well, that's silly. <laughs> the I don't love them that much. <laughs> <laughs> F seven eighty. Uh, so it's really it's really great fun. It's kind of fun that they still work. But the, absolutely, as I said, the plug is uh, oxidized, and I'm sure if I got a very fine grit sandpaper and got the adapter, I could use them again. But um, they, they were too nice to throw out. So that that's what the warehouse is for. Things that are too nice to throw out. Absolutely. By the way, good news. I was able to get the iPhone out of the case. I realized maybe the liquid pill just added a little bit of thickness. Uh, yeah. to, and to, also you said that it had a screen on it and didn't the, the thing say don't put No, it I don't have a screen it? protector on here. No, oh, no, you no. don't? No, no okay. just the liquid pill. Just the liquid pill. For, whatever, for what it's worth. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. But I am, a, you know what? Now I'm, I care a lot and I'm going to put my iPhone in a case. Even though it's not functioning, at least it won't get any worse. Oh, that's good. That's very thoughtful. <laughs> I won't be doing anything with it. No, right. I actually have a friend uh, uh, that uh, does iPhone repair not so far away, okay. and he can fix anything. Henry took his iPhone for a swim in the pool, forgot it was in his pocket, dived in, and, of course, it stopped working. And I was able to take it to uh, the iPhone repair folks, and they were able to fix it, uh, you know, cheap, too. I mean, I think it was 100 bucks to get replace a part or something. Wow, that is... yeah. That so, is good. Uh, I, I feel fairly confident that if it's just a short-circuited screen, I should be able to uh, get that. It's broke my iPhone.com, by the way. <laughs> iPhone Urgent. <laughs> Isn't that a good name? iPhone Urgent Care. Uh, I'll be coming your way a little later this afternoon. <laughs> broke my iPhone.com. That, that's really their website? Yeah. Oh, that's great. There's, now everybody fixes iPhones. I, I don't think Apple sells parts, but everybody's figured out how to fix iPhones. And uh, if actually, we have an interview on our Twit specials with the guys that made it possible. It's a, it's a website called ifixit.com. Oh, yeah, I know those. Yeah, things. they're great. Kyle Weens and the company, and they tear this stuff down and then uh, make tools that people can repair it with and so forth. So they're a good little company. So uh, probably I probably owe it to Kyle that I'll be able to get this uh, get this fixed. But look, I think the tripod adapter is very cool. Yeah, it's I nice. Like that. I like that idea. Uh, and I'm glad I'll be able to get this off. Uh huh. But before we go, we do have, as always, a little something, a little contribution to the show from you, our listeners. And he, he, stop it. Stop it. I'm having the same problem that the, uh, the woman had with the vacuum cleaner. Here are our letters theme. Yes. La, 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 letters. La, 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 la.
From David Roche, who clears up the photo that we showed last week of the KitchenAid coffee pot with the speakers. I had asked yes. on my website, your favorite gadget, and this woman had written in and said, uh, my amplified coffee pot, I love to hear the sounds of coffee <laughs> brewing. So David Roche wrote in and said, thanks for posting the picture that my wife posted as her favorite gadget, Aww. the coffee pot with speakers. She had recently purchased speakers for her iPod, happened to notice they were the exact same color as the coffee pot. So she couldn't resist the opportunity to be silly. Aww. We just watched the show tonight. We've been laughing about it ever since you made our day. And she had said Dick and Leo are a, an amazing TV couple. Um, <laughs> and, <laughs> but we do we have are. twin beds, uh, just so you know. We do, yeah, yeah. we do, yeah. No, 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 <laughs> let's put that room at a sleep right now. Oh, did I say sleep? <laughs> no sleeping uh, here. Take, take care, uh, David. Well, thanks, David, for the left. You know what? I, I had looked up the date when I, when I saw that picture because were we taping on April Fool's Day, yes. that would have been a perfect oh. gadget, you know, to pretend that it was now, a real gadget. Now, you've done that in the past. What, what happened to our April Fool's gadgets? Because we're not taping on April Fool's Day. Oh. But that, you, but you know what? It. Well, you know, Digivina is still up and running. Spear Hat is still up and running. <laughs> Euro Mug is still up and running. Yeah, so we have a few sites, actually. We still, yeah, I have, se I have several sites. That's and also, uh, if you're listening uh, live, it's not up, but on April Fool's Day. Oh, this is exciting. The, this is exciting. The Mad Ta -ta -ta -ta. Magazine app will be live yay god willing the people at 1k studios were not <laughs> fooling us not making an april it's fool's not a joke. joke kids not a joke but starting april 1st you will be able to buy digital copies of mad magazine for the ipad ipad only uh you can buy individual copies of mad or you can buy uh a year subscription 9.99 a digital subscription which is six issues and if you already subscribe, the digital uh, subscription is included. You can electronically do the fold-in. It's a lot cheaper than folding in the monitor itself. Trust me on this. Um, Mad Marginals, the little guy, the little drawing Sergio Aragonis does. You can zoom in on them. It's going to be a lot of interactive uh, stuff that will be in a digital version. I think they're going to start including an extra fold in with the digital version. And there'll be some free stuff. So if you just want to download the app, which is free uh, at the iTunes store, just look for Mad Magazine. And um, it that's will be there starting tomorrow. That's exciting. To I yeah, that's I know. I, I've seen some of the uh, preliminary stuff they were showing us how the different uh, uh, little gadgets work. It's really great fun. And, you know, it's, it's really fun that we're finally with the big guys with our own app. How Yay. cool is that? Well, Mad's always been kind of digital. I mean, oh, uh, yeah. you, you did that DVD with all the Mad, every, every issue, right, of Mad was on it. Yeah. yeah. And, and, you know, years and years ago, I don't know how they did it on a floppy record, but there was a song that every time you played it, it had a different ending. There what? was six... <laughs> yes, there were six endings to the song, and Gaines explained it to me. I never understood it. Um, so they were, that's yeah, they clever. were always up. They were always up for very doing clever. Uh, clever things. Well, that's very yeah. exciting. Um, tomorrow, go to the if you have an iPad, not iPhone, has not to be iPhone. An iPad. Yeah, they thought it was really too small to yeah. read full articles. No, on, you couldn't. So do that. Yeah. iPad only. All right, Dickie D. Thank you so much. As always, a great show. Uh, I won't call you on the iPhone for, what, like two or three days yeah, now, right? Yeah, if it rings and no one answers, that's because I'm not home. Or if they go, whoa, 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 whoa. You know, I, go that's... Th did that's, you find the tunnel? That's probably good. <laughs> that's a good question, whether the speaker uh, and the microphone will work. But I can they can replace those, too. I mean, th these guys are good. They can re they can replace everything, so... We'll see. You see, I've got the I put the uh, rock form on and the lanyard, and I I'm gonna go uh, glue this to the roof of my car. So, <laughs> good. What good. could possibly go wrong? Nothing. It's a perfect plan. <laughs> Dick's website. Ollie. <laughs> it's Gizwiz. 
dot biz, and that's oh, yeah. You... And there's something up. Uh, I put a, t uh, a sweatshirt up on eBay too. So I'm just gonna oh, throw that okay. In. So that's something you should uh, you should do when you go to gizwiz dot biz. Uh, there is there are several links. Uh, to help uh, Dick in his uh, fundraising, because <laughs> yes. God knows we don't. Three ninety five now per <laughs> month to save crap in the warehouse. And we don't pay him, and uh, so besides the what the heck is it game, which is really a chance for you to win something cool by guessing what the hell that is, uh, you should also take a look at the Gizwiz garbage. He's selling all sorts of crap. Uh, the, yes. the Gizwiz garb. Which apparently doesn't do anything, and oh, yeah, that's that's, that's site, that site's broken, and but <laughs> mo <laughs> never mind. Holy and then God. click the Mad Collectibles link, and you can find out more by going to his eBay auctions, Mads Maddest, and uh, T-shirts. So you sold out of those books from last week, huh? Uh, no, there's still some of those books. Here's Mad in your eye. Oh, good. Sweatshirt up there. Oh the shirt wow, it's up? embroidered. Oh yeah, wow, it's really beautiful. That's you know, nice. did you ever did you ever buy something, and then think it was too nice to wear. Yes. And I put on a shelf and I thought, you know, I'll wear this. Oh, I know. I'll wear this to this press event. And then I thought, right. no, they'll be serving wine and I'll get <laughs> wine on it. So this, you've had and this for, and never worn it. I've had this since the Warner store closed in 1993 wow. in a plastic sleeve. And I thought, you know what? I'm just going to sell it. I can't believe the current bid is four dollars fifty nine cents. There's no, not... that's the starting bid. Oh, that's the start. Uh, it, it just went. I just put it up about an hour oh, ago. Okay. okay. And you know, in keeping with Mad uh, sensibility, I I thought four dollars fifty nine cents sounds like a reasonable <laughs> start. I really was going to ask for five thirteen, but I thought that was too much. <laughs> this is a, this is worth a hundred bucks. I'm telling you. Yeah, this Absolutely. is pretty good. This That's is pretty really cool. a heavy duty, I heavily embroidered, yeah. beautiful sweatshirt. You won't want to wear it either, folks. So go right now. <laughs> yeah. Giz buy, your, buy the shirt and then get your own warehouse, and you can you keep can it in pay a plastic rent bag every month. Gizwiz, what the hell? Oh my God, he's uh, oh he's always oh, morphing. Let's go see the morphing animation as Dick the turns into animation. the amazing morphing animation gizwiz dot biz Dick uh, our business here is done it's time to say goodbye to all our family but we'll be back next week with more crap I can promise you maybe coffee I'll be here alright looks under his desk to find some crap to share. Oh! Dick says the spark awaits. It's turn the table to thee.